Hello everyone! Today we're going to work through some room clearing techniques and learning some of the jargon often used by the CQB community. For this run, I'm going to do a one-man clear, as I want to go through some fundamental things. We are approaching some windows, and I'd prefer not to get murked through a window, so I'm going to take this nice and slow and pie these open thresholds. But 60, what is pie? Great question. In room clearing doctrine, pieing a threshold simply means to incrementally clear an open area. So if we have a door that is open, you'll first start by clearing what you can already see, so your narrow, which is just the slimmest portion of the open threshold. You then take the room by chunks, working slowly to observe everything you can in the room without actually entering. A top-down view shows that when pieing, you want to take a decently far approach to the open threshold. This is to prevent telegraphing. Telegraphing is when your muzzle is visible in the room sooner than you are able to see into the room. This prevents someone from just mag dumping in your general direction before you even have a chance to engage them. Cool, let's continue. Okay, so order of priority when room clearing. People, open doors, closed doors. If you see a person in an open door, your first priority is to get that person to be compliant, then work the open door. Once again, taking a pretty wide angle to this open area to the living room, giving me distance to avoid telegraphing. Okay, so I'm out of the room here, but I know that to my left in the living room it terminates, which means there are no more threats such as doors or people. So I'll focus most of my attention towards the open area with the stairway. I'm gonna take a second to let the room breathe, which just means to take a pause to analyze if I can hear or see any additional threats, and also give those threats a brief moment to present themselves to me. Quick scan left, terminates, make entry on right, and I can see somebody. I have three closed doors and one person, so I'll deal with the person first. Pretty sure this leads to the kitchen. Yep, it does. It's kind of out of the way. Why are you bullying me? Alright, working this closed door. Here's a bit of a mixed view to see what pieing looks like. Again, just taking small slices of the room at a time. After we have seen pretty much everything, it's time to commit to the entry. Just clearing all the other angles. And on to the next one. Pause, pause. Okay, so I made a little oopsie here. When you clear out part of a room and leave it, it's good practice if you're one man clearing to clear it out again. For example, we cleared out most of the entryway, but we didn't check this area downstairs. We have no idea if little Bobby Pew Pew has moved into the area we've searched. So instead of just YOLOing out there, it should look more like this. There we go. Now we're being a little less dumb. All right, so single man clearing, there's two options in entering. Either go to the known or the unknown. But Mr. Whiskey Man, what is known and unknown? Easy peasy. It's what you can see and what you can't see, respectively. Either way you enter and move into a room, you want to face the unknown, as that's where a threat is most likely to be. So when clearing, we are creating our known by pieing. This is a corner fed room, which just means that the door is at the corner. So this is our known so far. So we have our known and our unknown now. This room doesn't leave much option for entry path, but we know our unknowns. And wouldn't you know, we have a subject in our unknown. Good thing we were facing towards it. Okay, quick tactical pause, ensure all our equipment is still good, and ready up to re-clear the living area. Taking that wide angle on the staircase. Speaking of stairs, they are considered a fatal funnel, which is just an area like a hallway that provides no coverage or escape route if you need to bail out of a gunfight. It's important that you get out of fatal funnels safely, but quickly. Yeah, 
a bit of a complex room here. I'll take the left side first to give me a better angle on the right side. All right, so we will take this first door on the left. Looks like we crashed the department's MRAP. Looks like they're watching us. Corner fed room. We can see there is dead space in the room here, which is the space of a room that can't be cleared from our current point of view. Basically, it's just another fancy term for unknown space. We need to be sure after entering to clear that area as well. Nani? That was kind of dumb of me. For whatever reason, I just tried to clear the right corner. Even though like 10 seconds ago, I just saw it was empty. Also, how in the world did I miss this man's elbow obviously jutting out in plain view? Hi. Okay. The reason why I keep these mistakes in the video is because I want to demonstrate to you that mistakes do happen, but mistakes have consequences like taking 12 gauge buckshot to the plate carrier. As long as you learn from your mistakes and don't make them again, that's what matters. That's why it's highly important to train over and over again to make sure you don't miss stuff when it's for real. Dead space leads to a door. Another corner fed room. One civilian down. Can't save them all. Big old fatal funnel. Found our last target. Overall, not a bad run. One man clearing an entire house can be difficult, but it's absolutely doable. I hope you enjoyed learning some CQB jargon. If you'd like to learn more, including working as a four or five man team to clear, leave a comment down below. Thank y'all as always for watching. I really do appreciate it. We are up to 47 subscribers. That's so cool for a little channel I thought would get like no views. So again, thank you all very much for your support. And always remember our sole objectives. Stop the killing. Stop the dying. I'll see y'all later.